Do you need yoga props? If you're new to yoga, you've probably been wondering if you need yoga props. And my answer is no, not really. You don't really need yoga props, but they're helpful. I'm Karen from Karen Yoga Life, and I'm a certified yoga teacher based in Kingston, Jamaica. And today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about yoga props and which ones you might wanna think about getting and which ones you really don't need to get. So if you are just starting yoga or thinking about starting yoga, especially if you wanna do yoga at home and you don't wanna go into a yoga studio, but you wanna be able to do yoga at home, you, the first thing that you might wanna get is a yoga mat. So do you absolutely need a yoga mat? No, not really. You could use a carpeted area. You could even do it on the grass outside if that's available to you. But in general, it is useful to have a yoga mat, mainly because you don't want to be slipping and sliding around depending on what your floor surface is. You also want something clean because you probably will be lying down. And you, it's just nice to have a yoga mat to sort of mark out your yoga space and to have something that um, signals to you that it is time for yoga. So. You don't really absolutely need a yoga mat, but I would say it is useful to have one. And there are many different kinds. I'm not super fussy about the type of yoga mat that I use or that I suggest to my students. I can put some links to yoga mats um, below, but I would just say, you know, something that's an average thickness that uh, does not um, slide around, that has a reasonable surface. And I think, as I said, on Amazon, there's lots of yoga mats that are, you know, that are absolutely fine. Do you need one with fancy graphics and lines and, you know, measurements? No, just find something that you like, that you will use, that you can afford, and I think that's fine. So the second thing is you hear yoga teachers talking all the time, myself included, about yoga blocks. So yoga blocks, again, not absolutely necessary, but they are actually pretty nice to have. They make certain postures more accessible. They're kind of fun to work with. They can actually double as very, very, very light weights. Um, they just are actually pretty nice to have to help you to get into postures that may be more challenging to do without them or maybe impossible to do without them. So again, many different types of yoga blocks. The ones I like, I like cork blocks, which are these type of blocks right here. They're made of cork. Uh, I don't particularly like the foam ones because I don't think they're super stable. If you're gonna be lying on them or using them to support your weight. I have also seen wooden blocks, which are actually pretty stable but they're kind of uncomfortable to lie on sometimes and i find that cork has a good combination of uh, stability and comfort because they're not super super hard but they are hard enough to support the your weight so uh if you know they're like ten dollars on amazon again not super expensive and if you are going to be Exploring yoga, it is really nice to have a yoga block or two, two yoga blocks. I think they come in twos. So the other props, which again are useful, are a yoga strap, which looks like this. Doesn't have to be a yoga strap. It could be simply a belt, a long belt. You want something pretty long or you could use a long scarf, you could use a long towel, a thin towel. You just want something that's pretty long, as you see, that you can, um, you can use as some type of strap. So again, you don't need to invest in a yoga strap. You can use a belt, you can use a scarf, you can use a towel. They all work actually really well. And I'll do another video to show how you can use a towel as a yoga strap. So again, nice to have, allows you to do some things that maybe you wouldn't be able to do without them, but not absolutely necessary, but again, nice to have. And then lastly is a yoga blanket, which again, you don't have to have this kind of blanket, but generally speaking, yoga studios will use this kind of blanket for classes because they are pretty thick and sturdy. You can fold them up, make them at different heights you can roll them up into what i like to call a 
um, blanket noodle to support your back. You can sit on them. So you don't really need this type of blanket, but you can use a firm cushion. You can use a, any type of firm blanket that you can kind of roll up and stack like so. Yeah, like so. Um, but again, you don't really need a blanket. You could use a firm cushion. You could even sit on your yoga box. But again, nice to have. Don't need it, absolutely, but it is nice to have. And then other than that, there are lots of other things that, you know, you could think about, you know, there are yoga bolsters, which as far as I'm concerned, two, two blankets and cushions function super well as a yoga bolster. Uh, people, some people like to wear socks, uh, some type of yoga socks. I actually suggest I go barefoot for yoga. Um, their eye pillows, nice at the end of the class for the relaxation. You just put something over your eyes, but you could also just use a little towel. So, you know, there are a little, little things here and there that people like to use um, in their yoga practice. So that kind of sums up the basic yoga props, which are a mat, a strap, a block, and a blanket. Again, not absolutely necessary, just nice to have and i will put some links to the ones that i like below just in case you are you're looking you're wondering what kind of yoga props you need so any questions about any of this please feel free to drop me a comment or question below and i'll do my best to answer it and if you like what you hear please like and subscribe and if you want me to answer any other questions about props or yoga in general please feel free to let me know and i'll do my best to answer them so that's what I wanted to share today. Have a great day and see you again soon.